So I'll give you guys an example why it's unacceptable for women to dress provocatively when they're in a relationship with a man. Let's go into a, a dream world, okay? Like, <laughs> okay. Let's say I'm dating you seriously, right? Like uh, we've been in a long-term relationship for five years. You know, our anniversary is coming up. I'm taking you on a trip to, to Barbados. But uh, I take you on our fifth anniversary to Barbados. We've been together for a long time. You know I'm going to propose. More than likely, your friends are getting you up. Hey, he's going to propose. He's going to propose. Get ready. Make sure you're looking good. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to walk you on the beach. He's probably going to do it, whatever. Your family's calling you. You're all excited. Whatever, right? So we pack our bags. We go to Barbados, right? And we land in the hotel. I'm going to, I'm like, hey, baby, I got to go to the gym. Uh, and I walk out, right? But I leave my phone accidentally. Then you hear a, you're like, what the hell is that? Shouldn't be getting messages right now. And you look at the phone and you see a text message from a random New York number, 917, right? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. or no, is that, yeah, I think that's yeah, New York. 917. Yes, yeah, 917. Is. You're like, what the hell? And then you, and then you, you remember my code, right? You punch it in and you open up the phone and it says, hey, rents do I need $2,000? You're like, what the hell? And then you see a picture of like boobs coming next. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> then you open up, you get interested. You're like, hmm, what's going on here? Like, and then you go on my Instagram. You see DMs. I'm paying another girl's bills. Paying, I bought a car for another girl. Obviously, I'm a man's a mean, got a man of means, got some money, right? Uh, I'm supporting another girl through college, whatever. You find out that there's six women that I'm dealing with and supporting financially and taking care of. And I brought you here to the Barbados to, to you know, more than likely to propose to you. How'd you feel upon finding these text messages and DMs nope. and everything? Nope, 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 nope. nope. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. Yeah. Goodbye. Nope. I'm out. I'm getting my plane ticket. I'm done. Like, I'm not going to do that. So I'm let's just go. Numb, okay, you know? fair enough. Uh, I just want to know, like, what is the feeling? If you could describe it in one word, what is the feeling? Humiliating. Humiliating. It's, it's embarrassing. Disrespect. Disrespected. 100%. Stupid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Humiliated. Yeah. Humiliated. Okay. I also hurt, honestly. Hurt. hurt Betrayed. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. Betrayed. Yeah. How about if it was other way around, though? Okay. You well, want, hold, you on. Want to feel the same? hold on. Hold on. Yeah, but no, that no, goes no. both ways. Well, well, hold on. Hold on. Anybody will hold, on. Feel... hold on. Hold on, ladies. Ladies, ladies. The point that pain that you guys feel right now, that's exactly yeah, how true. men feel when you walk out showing your ass and your tits to random men. That same betrayal that you feel, mm -hmm. right, with a man providing for another woman. That's how men feel when you dress provocatively out in public, because here's the reality. Men bring security, mm. provisioning, right, to a relationship. I betrayed you and gave it to other women. Women, what do you guys bring? No matter how much money you make, whatever, keep it a stack with you guys. No one gives a fuck how much money you make or how successful you are. Men care about your sexuality. Mm -hmm. So when you share your sexuality, i.e. showing your boobs off, your ass on the Internet, whatever it may be, you're cheating. Whether you want to accept it or not, that same feeling of betrayal that you guys felt where I was I was supposed to marry you and I'm supporting all these other women. That's how men feel when their girl steps out dressed like a hoe. The thing is, though, is that most guys don't have the balls to tell women this, because if you say this, you're instantly going to be labeled a misogynist, insecure, toxic or controlling. What I am saying is this. If you want a relationship with a man and you want it to actually last and you want him to love and respect you and take you seriously, you got to respect yourself first and you got to understand that there's boundaries and rules to dealing with certain types of men. And if a guy truly loves you, he ain't going to want to share you with everyone else. Yep. Yeah.